Well, everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the new drama, How to Please a Woman, from writer-director Renee Webster, starring Sally Phillips as Gina, a woman who is let go from her job in a restructuring that only included her, and she wound up getting, she like, her and her husband haven't been physical for years, and some of her friends that she meets up with at like this, now that I think about it, I think it's some kind of gym or something, but like they're, they get her stripper and the stripper played by Alexander England, Tom, he's a really nice guy. And she winds up coming up with the idea of, she winds up getting him to clean her house. What if you had men come do services where they clean and if the woman wanted him, have sex with her. And that's the crux of the series as she takes this fleeting company that Tom works at that she was going to shut down with her old job. And she wants to buy up this company and restructure it into this new one. And you have this crew of Steve, played by Eric Thompson, who's like middle-aged man who doesn't seem too keen on it. Uh, Miles Pollard plays Richard is her husband who, you know, I don't know how much we really care about him. Uh, uh, Ryan Johnson, who plays Anthony, who's well endowed, but doesn't know how to use it. And Josh Thompson, who plays Ben, who's not exactly the biggest looker, but he's trying his best. And you have this crew, and Gina is so endearing and enjoyable as a character. You just want to root for her. And this crew of guys are <laughs> fun. And you appreciate this slow building of a connection between her and Steve and over the course of this film it's just like okay I could see maybe there's something there and then you have all of her female friends that first become clients but then help start really bringing this company together and you have Caroline uh Brazer who's fantastic in it uh you have Tasma Walton and a whole bunch of great uh, actresses who come in here, fill out the rest of this cast, and really add some great elements. This is a wonderfully sex-positive film that has a wonder, like just a pleasant, and enjoyable message. That by the end of this, watching this movie, you're going to feel better about yourself and feel better about life, and really want to put yourself first and really make sure that your needs are being kept. And it really puts a lot of things in perspective. And it's wonderful seeing Gina realize that. And, you know, it's familiar beats. It's a narrative that you could probably see coming. There's elements that are pretty sexy. There's one particular, one of her friends who winds up helping her out and starts doing some of the services with a woman who's really insecure about some of her feelings she's having for not only men, but other women. And their interaction is pretty tangible. And I feel like um, Webster does a fantastic job of bringing life to this drama, being tender about it and having the right tone and making a film that is, like I said, sex positive, but also endearing and enjoyable and connects with you deeply and you can appreciate what it's trying to say in terms of um male and female roles and really needing to take care of your needs and this is just an enjoyable group of characters you know some of the conflict winds up being resolved pretty easily and but it's very character driven and i appreciate that most about this film and even though you could see things coming a mile away you enjoy the ride so much that you can get past it it's a beautiful little film that i highly recommend so make sure to go check it out and show this one some love but those are my thoughts on how to please a woman let me know what you think let's talk some movies but thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your wasteland reviewer